What is BMF TLRC? BMF TLRC stands for bad mother twin lobe roller cam. Why did we make the BMF TLRC? After we learned what we learned from the ultra cams, we realized we needed to come up with a roller rocker system in order to improve reliability as well as performance. So how did we improve reliability? The first thing that we had to do was we had to convert the valve train from a sliding system to a rolling system. We realized that running a sliding system and running a VTEC lobe is not the answer, that it would fail eventually. Another thing that we did, we made the decision to go to a twin lobe cam as opposed to single lobe cam, because as you can see, the single lobe sliding system would have to counteract two heavy duty springs. With the twin lobe system, each rocker is controlled by its own spring, and therefore the lobe on the camshafts only sees the load of one spring at a time. Another thing that we did to improve reliability was we made the twin lobe rocker bodies out of stainless steel, and we used a thicker roller. The first version of the roller that we did was 19 millimeters in diameter, 3.6 millimeters in thickness. Instead of a roller bearing, we use an extra thick roller and a floating bronze bushing in the middle. And this gives us improved load distribution as well as friction reduction. So we have a 19 millimeter roller that's 50% thicker than other rolling solutions out there. So other than added reliability, one of the key features of having a rolling system is we're able to open the valves and close the valves much faster. And what that results in is a higher dynamic compression. In other words, your car's gonna make more power. How much power are people seeing? To be honest, we're seeing people making anywhere from 50 to 150 horsepower more at the wheels. The other way that the TLRC system improves performance is it allows you to rev higher. Maybe you don't know this, in any form of racing, in terms of engine development, more RPM is always a goal if it's not regulated. So having more RPM or the capability of making more RPM allows your car to make more power and go faster. The Skunk 2 BMF TLRC valve train system has been validated on the Spintron up to 12,000 RPM. One of the things that needs to be done in order to run 12,000 RPM is adjusting the seating velocity into the appropriate range, which we've done on the BMF TLRC. Other cams, conventional cams that you're spinning up to 10,000 RPM, which I know all of you guys are doing, that you're pounding the crap out of your seats, many of you guys. A really important factor in achieving high RPMs is reducing the reciprocating weight of the valve train. Having additional weight in your valve train requires more valve spring in order to control the valve. The importance of lighter weight is the faster you spin it, less weight to control is less valve spring that you have to run. One of the problems before of running this system, it was because they're trying to control 125 grams, they had to put in, at, they had to make sure they had at least 65 pounds more spring pressure than if you were running this. So you have all that additional spring pressure working against the single lobe that's sliding. Guess what, it's gonna wear out. What's the summary of this video? Pretty simple, BMF TLRC for B and H. It is the new standard for camshafts in the B and the H racing world. It's a little pricey, but it's gonna save you money in the long run. And it's making more power. Horsepower costs money, so how much are you willing to spend? If you wanna go faster and you wanna go more reliably, BMF TLRC. History favors the bull.